Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's let's quickly try this exercise. We're going to engrave some stone. Okay, so um, let's start. Oh, actually, I did some uh, did a video before, but uh, that's quite a while ago, and no voice, nothing. So maybe it's good uh, to just do a new one. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, let's create an project so i just draw a wall w a um okay so which side do we do maybe this side and also uh in this image and the wall looks a, a little um there's a little angle to it i think so that's fine we can change this wall to slant it okay so I'll give it a angle 10 degree uh, no negative okay so we have this wall here so we're going to uh, cut <laughs> cut it we need to increase some text onto it um, okay so the first method is a mm, very easy one so just go directly use model text but we need to so before we use model text just set word plan pick a plan and pick this uh, face okay so now we can just create some uh, text so I'll just type in some text okay and also you can adjust the size adjust the size here font material anything but uh, we don't need material because we're going to um, use it as void okay so so currently it's a uh, it's the text is start from this surface uh, 150 thick okay so what we need so depending on how deep you want to be so negative 50 so now we can just go use modify cut pick the text first so tab try to pick oh uh, hell what's going on it won't allow me to pick oh sorry not cut use join okay so you won't you can't do cut you can only do join because this is um yeah this is how it works so join pick the text first because uh sometimes uh depending on what category you're using your draw you're using the join geometry on um the first one the, when you pick uh it's likely to be uh kept so which means if you pick the wall first and then join with the text you it will really will get rid of the text or uh, so you need to pick this text first and then pick the wall so this will actually uh, uh, create a void on in in the in the wall so uh, if i select select this text and eh and you will see that's that's it Oh, there's something not right here but yeah anyway so my because of this so maybe um i don't, I don't know let's let's just control z to bring back oh, maybe just show hidden show hidden to bring the text back um oh hang on. oh sorry so it's not selected yeah oh where is it it's it's not oh oh it's there sorry <laughs> because I, I because I press control Z so it's already back so um, maybe I'll, I'll see if I can fix this one so um, let's edit here so edit text so if I type uh, if I add a space here so see yeah so it looks like if you have this one so try to not have inter uh, intersecting uh, text so just that will fix it and also the issue this method um, will have is you can't really um, turn it off you can hide it eh but it will also it will only be invisible in this view so if you go to um, for example go to another view so uh, maybe elevation and it will be still be there and yeah you just need to hide it again so if you wanted to see this uh, effect or oh, yeah it's quite nice 
Anyway, so this is the first method. Just use model in place. Um, or oh, not model in place, sorry. Just use um, model text directly onto the wall. Okay, so now I'm going to use do another one, but basically the same. So just create a new family and it can be a uh, depending on uh, what uh, base what uh, where you want to place but um, I think face base sh sh uh, should be the the most um, useful one I think uh, okay so let's start and the same just uh, create a model text okay and place it here and then just make sure just use negative so same negative 50 it will come down and also um i think yeah sometimes you might want to uh maybe maybe instead of you know just directly place onto a face you can also go to the front somehow you can create a reference plan so to have so you can you ha can have the option to to um, have the text half out half inside so if if you wanted to so something like this so place onto a reference plan so you can you know some do something like this so um you can't really i yeah you can't really join or cut so what you can do is basically because this is a generic model and we can just load this into the project and then place onto the wall oops sorry uh, where did I place oh then to the other side let's try again okay looks like um, looks like the reference planner did is just too far away or maybe something not right so maybe just go to this again let's check the offset okay 100 mm not sure 50 maybe and i'll just put a negative 100 into it hopefully this will work so let's load this back over right okay so i think it's still not right maybe just try this one uh doesn't work cs oh so the reason is see we used place on work plan so and then because current work plan is on this face and this face is at the back of that so that's why <laughs> okay so we can either just use place on face and it will automatically uh, pick the face okay so I'll just place it like this or if you really want to use work plan just make sure you pick the correct word plan so see this is the current word plan and you can always pick uh, you know pick on here maybe something like that and then w once you place because it's a generic model and you can join them with wall okay so pick this text first pick the wall next okay so we have some issue here I think this is because uh, you know where there's a curve and it was you know very little curved edge and there's always an issue so try to you can try to move this a little bit and see it might fix the it might not <laughs> yeah just uh, you need to try your luck yeah no not done work maybe uh maybe i'll just give up <laughs> Maybe I'll just place this onto onto the onto this and try again join. Yeah, so it works. Um, the same. Um, basically, you can either hide it eh to show this, or because this is a family, you have you also have option to so adjust the, the visibility setting so for example I don't want to see them in any of the plan elevation or you can try this I'm not quite sure but we can try load this back overwrite 
uh, looks like it doesn't work. Uh, go back again. So I'll just uh, try check media on. Uh, looks like we can't. <laughs> uh, doesn't work. Anyway, let's try course. Okay, it works. So basically, it looks like um, Revit uh, don't want to hide it in 3D view. Any any detail doesn't um, want to hide it. So yeah, if you want to hide it, eh, and at least um, at least this you, if you use this method. Let me just join this one as well. If you use this method, so you go to floor plan or any elevations. So uh, which one did we use? Um, uh, maybe this one. So let's go to this view. So you you will see you don't need to hide it. It's invisible. Okay, so it's invisible because we uh, we unchecked the plan and the RCP and also elevations uh, front back left right and this is it um, do you have any other method if you find please let me know okay so thank you i'll see you next time thank you bye